Hey guys, so this is a 2010 Dave Matthews signature model Taylor guitar. They only made 424 of these guitars. Um, this is the 2010, which is, I guess you would say the most common. They made the most of them in uh, 2010. Uh, according to Taylor, they made six in 2009, 353 in 2010, 28 in 2011 and 36 in 2012 then they only made one in 2013 which i'll probably venture to guess either went to bob taylor or dave matthews uh, it comes with a signature uh, author authentication sheet uh, that's signed by dave matthews but it's also signed by dave and bob taylor right there on the inside. Um, this guitar is beautiful. Um, it's really rare. It is basically a, a replica of what they built for Dave Matthews, uh, a 914 CE model, uh, Grand Auditorium acoustic electric guitar. Uh, let's see, it has a, a Sitka spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides, which are just stunning. Uh, as you can see here, I mean, it is like a mirror. Um, and my guitar is flawless. Uh, it only comes out of the, of the case and the, the safe, like very, very rarely. Um, it sounds incredible. It's got the mother of pearl inlays. Uh, with these designs and then the grux and the crown there um, Some of the details about this guitar And it says uh, It's set up with medium to low action That enables sound projection from the ground auditorium shape the neck has a slim soft V profile uh, Easy to play 25 and a half inch scale uh, one and three quarter inch nut width. Let's see. It's equipped with Gotch 510 tuners, uh, which are are beautiful. And I believe they're brass. They look like they're gold, but I'm pretty sure those are brass. Um, and then it's got the expression system uh, with the knobs there. And then down on the bottom, uh, it has it has the that's where the nine volt battery goes which i strongly recommend if you have a tailor with that expression system that you don't store the battery in it ever because it would be a bad day if that battery went bad uh, it weighs four pounds um, let's see according to taylor uh, the inlays, uh, it says Dave's Cindy inlays featured on this 914 pays tribute to, uh, Leroy Moore, who passed away in 2008. Um, and then the inlays between the 11th and 12th frets, and that was his nickname, uh, Grux. I do know they made a few, uh, left-handed guitars. Um, only a couple I saw, I've actually seen, but what was disappointing was they didn't flip this. So it's upside down. Um, it's Indian rosewood, Sitka spruce on the back. Um, it's got, uh, the neck is American mahogany. The fretboard is ebony. Um, it's got the tailor with the Dave Matthews signature overlay and mother of pearl, that's beautiful. Uh, it's 20 frets, pretty, just pretty standard 914 CE. Um, the cutaway is Venetian and the mother of pearl that goes all the way around it is, uh, is just really nice. If I had to say one thing I don't like about the guitar, <laughs> it's really nothing. The case is beautiful inside with the, the crush suede, the case, the case is really cheap as you can see the case is separating right here. And uh, this has never been beat up or traveled with. So it's just 
a really disappointingly poorly made case considering that the guitar is so valuable. But uh, I would imagine this guitar will be worth quite a bit more uh, eventually. It's um, the 914 is already an expensive guitar. And honestly, the materials and the quality of the guitar are, are just impeccable. And it sounds really good. Uh, it makes me want to play better because I'm definitely not a great guitar player. But when I play this and then I pick up like an Ibanez or something, <laughs> there is no comparison. No comparison. So anyway, that's the, uh, the Dave Taylor's or the, I'm sorry, the Dave Matthews signature model taylor guitar i just wanted to do a a quick video overview of it and uh show you guys what it is and let you know i mean if if you come across the opportunity to buy one i'd pick it up they only made 424 of them have a good day